I didn't do the headline last time. What a nice uh, Volkswagen. <laughs> Volkswagen? What the hell, dude? Please be gentle, it's my first time on a BMW. Well, I didn't look up all the specs, but it's got an 1170cc engine, 109 horsepower, and 116 newton meters of torque. And like I said, this is the first time I've ever been. on the BMW. I have uh, the impression that the uh, handlebars are very close to me. This is a short bike. Shifts are very crisp. This is the, uh, the R9T, if I didn't say that before. So it does have the uh, rev counter and the shift indicator and a lot of other options that I'm not all going to remember. It's got uh, heated grips, it's got uh, a road and rain and whatever mode, it's got cruise control. So as I said, uh, or maybe I cut that out, I don't know. Uh, this is immediately the most powerful motorcycle that I've ever been on. At 109 horsepower, which is actually one horsepower lower than the previous edition. But you do have more torque. I don't remember exactly how much more. And they completely revised the uh, They completely revised a complete uh, intake from, uh, well, I guess from the airbox up until and including the cylinder head. Well, everybody told me, uh, or reviews, I must say, reviews have told me that you can feel the uh, engine torque because it has a longitudinal crankshaft and it'll move the uh, motorcycle sideways, but really? Hmm. I don't know. I think they filtered that out pretty much. Now, BMW for me never was a logical option for uh, motorcycles because I just didn't see them as a motorcycle company. And that's because I'm more of a car guy, sorry. Um, but, of course, BMW has been in existence since 1916, albeit they had a different name then. And they made aircraft. That's why the BMW logo is supposed to be a stylized version of a aircraft propeller in the blue sky and in 1923 they made their first motorcycle which was the R32 and they've been making motorcycles with boxer engines like this one ever since well not like this one exactly of course but you know what I mean how far can I let it drop Or 
I'm in third gear and it picks up just like that loads of torque yeah it's too bad about the weather but there's nothing you can do this is the Netherlands I was doing a little trial run before on my own bike and it was a little bit of rain, but a lot of sunshine also, beautiful sky, and uh, now it's just a mess. Well, I do hope to be able to get out of third gear sometime. And I'm doing 70, and it feels like I'm doing 30. So I guess that's a good sign. There's nobody behind me. I'm gonna drop it a bit. Where's the brake? Oh, there. Okay, that's power, definitely. And once more. Yeah, that's worth leaning into. Nice uh, exhaust note, too. Now, of course, we've got ABS and traction control, and uh, like I said, there's different drive modes. So just uh, pick it up a notch. Let's see, we've got road, Dyna, which is sport really, rain, road. Okay, so you got three modes. Well, I'll keep it in road for now. I think it's doing pretty good in the rain without going to rain. Too happy about this indicator thing. It's a bit too light for me. I don't really feel like I'm doing anything. No, look, they were doing a tour. Well, they got wet, and so far I'm lucky. Self-canceling indicator. So my first impression is, well, it's nice. I like it. It's nimble. Well, it could be a bit more nimble, really, I think. It's got a steering damper, and I always think that's a bad sign. Because when you need one of those from the factory, there's something shifty about the geometry. No, maybe it's just a precaution, but the factory usually doesn't spend any money just for a precaution. <laughs> Come on, what do you think? Well, being a twin, this is of course not a super high revving engine, and it's a relatively large twin at that, at 1170 cc's. Of course, it's not as big as the R18, which is probably about as big as they can make a twin, but maybe they'll make one that's bigger. And where was I going with this? I don't know. There's a very solid mechanical clunk when you shift. I can see there's a car coming, so probably not the smartest thing to do. I never said I was smart, did I? Well, that went fairly easy. I think this is it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I keep looking at the indicator. It's, uh, you know. When you haven't been on a lot of bikes, 
Those are just little things you have to get used to the first time around. Yeah, it's got very, uh, very good brakes. <clears throat> I'll put the specification in the video, of course, but uh, I think we've got uh, twin four-pot calipers in front with 305 millimeter discs, something like that. So yeah, it's capable of uh, stopping. Of course, it's got the ABS, but let's not tempt fate. I know myself. Me and fate are not good bedfellows. Dangerous crossing Because people get distracted when they look at the horses or because there's so much corn it Sort of turns into alcohol and gets into your system Bioethanol Cow crossing. Well, you don't get that every day Cow pooping you don't get that every day either Uh, not bad. Holy moly. That'll take some getting used to. It's not just the, uh, you know, the horsepower, it's the torque that keeps going. third you know you can be very lazy on this bike and that's a good thing because I'm a very lazy person yeah, I know I would have gone here a lot faster really I swear but I have this phobia Totally happy with where the uh, gear shifter is. Yeah, we got six gears apparently. Holy cow! Just keeps going. There's no stopping it. It's the silver bullet. See, there's the sun. And look at that glorious sky. Now, for this kind of weather, this is a perfect bike. Just enjoying the uh, country roads. Yeah. Sorry. It's bound to happen sometime.
Yeah, I shouldn't forget the shifts, huh? Will it stand? Yes, it will. Okay, very quick little walk around. R90, uh, 12 volt, and USB, or is it just USB? Just USB, I guess. Brembo brakes. Of course, upside down front fork, LED headlight. Yeah, I didn't do the headlight last time with a nice uh, BMW uh, logo in there. Yeah, I made it dirty, sorry. Nothing to be said. A uh, single-sided swing arm, of course, with... Uh, right. You know what I mean. And the uh, impression of my butt on the seat. So yes, this is one of those bikes that you can really have a nice relaxed cruise on, but you can also be a total hooligan. I haven't really said anything about the seating position, but this is a position you can uh, maintain for quite a long time. You're, you're quite close to the uh, handlebars, uh, but it doesn't really make you feel crowded. I mean, if anything, it makes it more, you know, chuckable, I guess. The only disadvantage of this uh, upright seating position is that you really have to lean forward once you uh, lay in the throttle. Otherwise, you'll just be ripped off. Off of the bike, I mean. And as prices go, I have not got a clue, because, as always, I come very ill-prepared. And telling you the price that this bike is in the Netherlands doesn't make any sense, because vehicle prices here are ridiculous because of all the added taxes. So my advice is to instead just go to the site of BMW in your country to get the correct price information and of course this was like an hour officially it's only uh, 45 minutes but I got the bike a little bit sooner weight actually nope. but not much it's so small <laughs> <laughs> 